Just, just, just moving on from that, you, you said the total was what's the most of one thousand thousand? More than. More than. And the total of the bits. I mean, I go to appendix three, which is more than less than some of the massive ones, and you've got four bits of the seven thousand pounds. I made it abundantly clear, abundantly clear in my email to Dallas and class members that we provided for the patients who we were speaking to. We provided for because we know sometimes one location is not likely to be for it. And if you show 28,000 pounds in that term, it's going to be 14. And what else is in there that is, that is not or shouldn't be in there? Because my understanding last meeting was we were asked to put forward schemes, and we all put forward schemes. I don't think any of us expected to have any schemes. Uh, quite, and that's um, my comment, last comment to uh, the chair that the members would now need to make a decision on which ones. And, uh, if you want to prioritise within your area one or two of those, uh, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. I agree, but you're misleading by the total because we in North West, and I'm going to speak to North West and so only ask for two devices. So we only ask for 14,000 pounds. You're showing that we've asked for 28,000. There's no qualification, there's nothing in the report. There's no qualification on here that says only two of these will be required. You could have listed all four and put, you know, only two of these four could be requested for terms of sporting investment power. I'm just concerned that you're misleading people with figures you provide in the report, uh, and that's wrong. The last thing I really want to do is to prioritise on behalf of members. If we can make sure that in the minutes that, that your proposal, Councillor Blakely, is made clear that we don't expect for it to be all of those four. But that's why this has been brought here for this committee to decide which are the schemes and which are the locations. So I don't think there's any attempt um, uh, to mislead anybody in terms of too much being asked for. Um, but we wouldn't, um, we do try very hard not to be seen to be making decisions on behalf. And I, and, you know, I hear what you're saying, but I made it very, very clear. Caroline's got the email. We need four locations, and only two will be required. I made it very clear in the last meeting that only two will be required, and every report shows four. That is wrong. That is misleading. Whether it's accidental or the others, it is wrong. It's misleading. We in North West of Southern Massey are not asking for four speed and three. Okay, thank you. Jeanette? Right. Any more questions? Right, thank you. Well, um, firstly, go back to 2.4 and the speed one and signs. Um, options here. I mean, what, what do we want to do with this? Do we, do we A, want to fund it at the full amount, which would obviously come out of the total, split the funding over two years of 10,000, or do we think that th this idea, as we talked before, is, is um, maybe a waste of time, or do you put some votes on that? Right, so I'm going to bring in Ron, and then you can answer the question.
Thank you, Christina. Thank you. 
Okay, there's a few possible outcomes here that we discarded, but if we then keep it, we'll then go on to discuss how much we want to allocate and all that. So I'm going to deal with it one at a time first, is whether we keep in a um, proposal put by Council of Lakeland, first of all. So those in favour of, what did you say, discarded? We don't Those in favour of not allocating the twenty thousand pounds. Those against? That's carried we will not.
constituency which is not that. Hence it's there only, and it's not the way it is. Okay, any questions on that one? Okay. Yeah. Are these signs going to be important? Because obviously it's meant to be before the happens. It's not going to be the signage or lamps. Uh, are there concerns about these things being coming around the ground? Any risk of it without any particular uh, building circles?
try to revive a culture in which the bicycle is respected equally by cyclists, pedestrians, and motorists. And I think this is a sensible move in that direction, so I support it. Right, so okay. And I, I think we've had a lot of discussion on this, we'll put it to the vote now. Those in favour of supporting, put on the side the £3,500 to be used for signage. Those in favour, raise hands.
okay, then now we're looking at the projects that, that I've got forward. I would like to suggest that I'm a way forward on this, you know, to prioritize um, women on the boat, is that we each involved, those of you who have got in more than um, three suggestions, prioritize where they would like that money to go, and then what we'll do is with what money that's left, um, we'll see what can be afforded from there. Any two from those four? Any two from those four? Well, four that came Thank you. 